with my daughter, my seven-year-old. She has not been feeling good for a couple of days. And the last you guys heard, I had two sick little ones that aren't in school, my youngest sons. She's obviously in school and some more germs are brought home. So we're going to the doctors, surprise, surprise, and then pick up some medicine if she needs medicine, which I'm assuming by her symptoms are strep throat, but it could just be a virus too. But her fever at the highest was like 105. Do your ears hurt or anything? Uh, kind of. Kind of? I can tell like with my kids, I don't know if it's just with my kids or with everybody, but with my kids when they have strep throat, they kind of talk funny, like kind of like a frog in their throat. That's what it sounds like. Not literally, but you guys know what I mean. Their voice sounds kind of like restricted. So we're headed to the doctors and if she needs medicine, we will be picking that up at the pharmacy. It's another beautiful day out. It feels like fall today, doesn't it? It's pretty chilly, but it's also very sunny and it's cool. But over there, it just looked like there were a bunch of like dark clouds. So I hope it doesn't rain. After that, we are going to my storage unit and probably getting some things out of there to bring to the house I'm at now and pack. The stuff that's in that storage unit is from my last house. Well, not the house, from the apartment when I had my last, I had a house and an apartment, but I will be bringing this stuff with me from the storage unit to my new place. And it's pretty much all like brand new. A lot of it, like a lot of the decor I didn't even put up. So it's literally still brand new. My hair's a mess. That's okay though. Not doing anything too special. So we're gonna go in here, have her check out and see if she needs medicine. I'll go to the pharmacy and pick it up. And then we're gonna head over to the storage unit and see what we can pack up in here. And we'll probably be doing that a lot this week. I might have my boys with me the next time I go and load up my van because the older kids will be in school. But I don't know, we'll see. So what was your fever this morning? I think it was only like, well, only 101. Yeah, 101 But what it's, yeah, compared to what it's been, that was pretty low. Yeah. Because it's been like 102, 103, 104. Like I said, it reached 105. And that was, when was that? It was like in the middle of the night over the weekend. Yeah. Last night? The night before? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, my hair. I just blow dried it and it's so frizzy. And I haven't washed it in like four days before today. All right, we're gonna go to the doctor's. I'm gonna answer this bank call. Hopefully it's not bad news. Mm -hmm. So we are here. This is the urgent care because your doctor's closed. They didn't have an appointment on Friday. So we were just waiting it out a little bit to see how she felt. And you still have a bit of a fever. So we're going to get checked for, like I said, what I believe maybe strep. So we'll see. The little mini door. I remember this. Just your size. I'm gonna come in too. I'm gonna squeeze. <laughs> okay, so we're in the room. The nurse just did a strep test. She asked if I wanted her to do a strep test, and of course I do because that's what I believe it is. This is our view. It does look like it's gonna rain. It was so beautiful out before we came in here. Don't touch the window, look at all the germs. You can see all the like fingerprints. Ew. So she did a strep test. We're gonna wait for those results and we're just waiting for the doctor to do doctor things. She looks like she was gonna do so soft, you like. <laughs> <laughs> she literally jumped so far back because, you know, like with the strep test, the long Q-tips go to the very back of your throat and she does not like strep tests at all. Why does it have to be very uncomfortable because it has to go in the very back of your throat. So that's not fun. Yeah, yeah. This is like their little basket of stuff. That looks like the COVID test. I don't know. My that's the strep test right there. Look that's how long the Q-tip is. I wanna sit right here. Be careful though. Careful yeah. that you don't fall because those chairs are dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> when we were here with my boys last weekend, they said that a kid came in here for like an illness and he was sitting on this chair, fell off and broke his arm. 
while he was here and off how, of this chair. How did he break his arm? Because I guess sitting on the chair and spinning around, playing on it. And his legs was little and then he tried to get off and then fell. I guess so. So he came in for an illness and left with a broken arm and a cast. So they Good usually say don't play on those. You can sit on it just like that, but don't like... Good thing, um, you know better though. The boys, like my younger boys, of course, would like to play on it probably like the other kid was. Can I do this? You can pretend. It's National Hispanic Heritage Month. That's you. That's me? If you guys didn't know, my kids are half Hispanic. What's Hispanic? Mexican. Oh. I don't know if Mexican and Hispanic are the same thing, but um, I'm not Mexican or Hispanic, so I'm not sure. <laughs> are they the I same do. thing? Comment below. I don't know. I'm Italian, German, Indian. So German, Italian, Indian. I don't know. If you break your arm in the hospital, that's good. If you break your arm. Mm, it's never good, but you're in the right place. Yeah, awesome. All right, we're gonna wait for the doctor. We'll be right back with some results, hopefully. I'm pretty sure it's strep, so we can get you started on some medicine and get you a doctor's note for missing. Last week, well, not last week. What day did you miss? Friday. So yeah, we'll get her a doctor's note. And she just said she does not like that because she does not like missing school. My kids love school, so they don't miss, especially my second graders, they love school. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, you guys, so strep was negative. I'm very, very shocked considering her symptoms. Hey, I told them, I know, I was like, what? In the way that she sounds, but they are sending it off like a culture to see if anything grows, like any bacteria grows, and then they'll let me know. But they're getting her a note right now Dad, for I just, school. I just up some the class. Yeah, Dr. Nina. <laughs> wow, I'm very shocked. Very, very shocked. I mean, shocked. But considering my youngest two just went through the same thing and it was like a virus, even though they did give my four-year-old um, antibiotics, they still didn't give me an answer as to what it was. It wasn't an ear infection. They didn't test for COVID or flu. I don't know. It's been really weird. They said it's a really bad virus going around. So it even looks like fall out here, like the sky, the trees, the wind blowing. It's chilly. Fall wanna, vibes. I don't want to have the flu. Oh, the flu was bad. We had it last year, A and B back to back, and then COVID we've had a couple of times right around that time too. So it was bad, but yeah, we're going to get out of here and we'll see you guys, I guess, in the car when we get to storage. All right, wash your hands, guys. <laughs> okay, we got the doctor's note. So now we're headed to storage if we don't get blown away. Yeah, it's really Windy. It's very windy. It's chilly. This is definitely fall and this is the first day that I could say feels like fall. What do you think? Yeah. Fall vibes. Fall, fall vibes. Fall vibes. Okay, so we took a quick pit stop. Nina wanted vanilla ice cream for her sore throat and I wanted some orange soda. So I got that. I was going to get it at Subway anyway because we are going to where are we going? After storage, we're going to the grocery store to get Nina watermelon uh -huh. and I want pickles. And then we're going to Subway because I'm craving Subway. And then we'll probably head home. She drinks a lot of water. Yes, I drink a lot of water. So it's okay that I got an orange soda. I was craving it. Okay, so I just pulled into storage. Let's see if anyone's at this spot right here. No, okay. So they have only two spots you can pull into. No, three. And if they're filled up, you have to like sit out here and wait. But I do have an app which opens the gate for me. So I have to go on the app and put in like the codes and stuff. Oh my goodness, this hair today is just not it. Well, I like it. What, my hair? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I know in videos, people like have something to say when like girls touch their hair a lot. Like, stop touching your hair. You always touch your hair. They've never said that to me, but I do see other people saying it about other people. But I don't know. I do have anxiety. Maybe it's like a nervous thing too, but no. I did my hair today, blow dried it, washed it, washed it, blow dried it straightened it and ran out the door real quick so we could make it to the doctors and go on with our day 
and usually the days that I wash it and blow dry it, here comes a U-Haul behind me. It's really frizzy. Okay, I'm gonna put in the code. I will be back in a minute. It's always something, you guys. When I say it's always something, it's always something. I guess he's having trouble with it too. The access code is not letting me in, so I think I'm gonna have to go up to like the box right there like he's doing, and that's how it opens. So let me go try that. If not, I'm gonna have to go all the way over there. Well, not all the way, but go to the rental office and see why it's not working. So I'll be right back. Let's keep our eyes, toes, and fingers crossed. You can take your seatbelt off now, we're in here. Okay, so let's turn the car off. We made it in. I didn't have to go over to the office. The access code worked and the gate is closing now. All right, so Let's grab one of those carts over there and head up to our storage unit. Look guys, they have cameras everywhere. I think it's so funny. My kids love this place. Not sure why. They're always like, mom, can we go to storage? Because we've had this for like over a year now. I think it's been over a year. And sometimes we have to come here to get certain things. Like I have a lot of things in here for work and they love it. Do you love it? So Nina's back here with her Sunday. Is it's it so good? good? Yeah, it's okay. so good. So let's go grab a cart and see how much we can fit in the van. And I should have actually left Isaac's car seat at home, but I wasn't thinking correctly. So I'm gonna have to put like as much as I can up here. And like, I don't know, we'll put some of the seats back, I guess. Like, we'll put it like right here. Yeah, right there. And then we'll put we'll the back seats back if I can figure that out. So, all right, let's go see what we can fit in. All right, yeah. hang on tight. I Maybe will. move toward the middle so you don't fall off. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. <laughs> this is another thing my kids love about storage is riding on the carts. But you can't ride it on the way down. Yeah. It'll be filled, filled to the brim. Okay, let's go. That's a big one. Press number three. This? Number three, number three. Yep. Bye bye. See you in a little bit with the full card. I remember this place. It's been a while. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I love the smell right now. It smells like rubber. Like I love the smell yeah. of tires. Okay, so. <laughs> 3102. We're like 3150, oh. I believe. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. It smells like, you know how when you walk into like an auto parts store and it smells like, um, I might go in the right way. It smells like tires, like rubber. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it looks good. Do you think it smells good or is it just me? There's a camera, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I could like live in here because it smells so good. Am I being crazy? Okay, we are one over. There's another camera. Camera's everywhere. Um, We're getting close. I think this might be us. Whoa, it's dark. These lights better turn on, I can't see. Okay. Wow, it has been a while. Okay, we got the lock off. I started to get worried. I thought I had, like, the other set of keys that I had in my wallet right here, I thought were the keys to this, and it wasn't. But the second one, that's Yeah, so that's good. Okay. How do we open this thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try again. Teamwork. Whoa. Look, oh. there's your reborn. And the walker. There's some baby stuff. There's a bouncer. There's a pack and play. There's a walker. Some of my furniture. This is like all stuff from my apartment. So much stuff. My bathroom organizer I never used. My mattress. So much decor. My toaster oven. All of this time. is like brand new, pretty much. You were so. the whole time without no one. I know. Crazy, right? Yes. Yeah. Did he have his sister? Um, 
she at home? No, that's Leah. Oh, is there another one? Oh, there's the baby bath. Oh, there's the like top part to the pack and play. This pack and play is brand new. Oh my goodness. I'm like so excited. Oh, do you remember this? This is brand new. The little elephant. Mom, remember? Um, you can use this for the new baby girl. Oh, is it a baby girl? Mm -hmm, I think it's a baby girl. I'd never told you I was having a baby. Yes, yeah, Isaiah did. Isaiah did? Mm -hmm. And nobody knows if it's a boy or a girl. So. Yeah, but I'm assuming it's a girl because he already have three boys, and but I want a little girl. Oh, okay. It's a girl because you want a little girl? Yeah, so it's a girl now. I never told her. I had a baby in my belly, you guys. What did Isaiah tell you? Isaiah said, um, I was at the doctor with mom, and mom um, was taking something for the stomach, and then I saw um, a baby head and something <laughs> moving around in there. They put something on my stomach, and he saw a baby head, and it was moving around? Yeah. <laughs> I never looked up here. Okay, so yeah, this is my storage, you guys. You look so cute. So... My goal is to have everything out of here by the end of the month so I don't have to make another payment for storage. It's like 200 something, so I'd be saving a lot. I have like a whole carpet under here. Can you have a bunch of kitchen ours. stuff. I, I want this table to be from our table. Like, I don't want that brown table right now. We and have, we'll, like, a gray farmhouse table. Yeah, I don't well, want this. Well, this is going in my new place. So, every, like, there's so much nice things in here. Everything in here is going to my new place. Is it my baby? Um. I want it to because I, I need to be safe. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll figure everything out. There's just a random diaper right to, here. So we're going to load this up and we're going to see how much we can fit in the van. I know we could fit like this. We could fit that one, like the big clear bins, the microwave. So yeah, we're going to load this up and this is what it looks like now. I'm going to take my keys and the lock and my wallet off and we're going to load it up. And we may have to like take a couple trips. There's like another clear bin down there. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is the first load. Me and Nina are hearing noises, so we're kind of freaked out. Okay, so these bags right here are for donations. They're coming tomorrow to pick up donations that I have at home, and I figured I would take these bags as well and get rid of those. All right, let's go. We're gonna go, I have to turn this around figure out a way to turn it around. I don't know. Oh, we can go this way. Can we go this way? Yeah. Well, this is where the noises are. Yeah. <laughs> but hopefully we can find them. But don't go this way because that's not, like, it stops in there. Okay, we're gonna go this go way. This way. And nothing that way. Nothing. There's nobody up here and I'm hearing noises. Same. Gosh, I'm hearing noises everywhere, but there's cameras, so there's someone down there watching. I think we'll be safe. What do you think? Yeah, but, but it's creepy. We're the only ones in here. Yeah, it's usually, I keep hearing making noise. Like I'm hearing noises everywhere. Like someone's gonna pop out behind me. I'm nervous. Okay, we'll be right back if we make it <laughs> to the car. Okay, this is what we have so far. We have a lot of rim still. Let's go back up. Okay, so Nina's rushing me because she wants watermelon and I want Subway. Okay. Yeah, so and, we're trying to like and, wrap it up. Okay, so what I noticed was my TV is back here. So I have a TV too. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep, I checked, it's in there. I have two carpets right here. I have a mattress, although I have a brand new bed frame and mattress at home. I have a futon right here. Um, at home, I have still in the box a gray couch that opens up to like, um, it's not a futon. It's, I think it's like a sleeper sofa and it's gray. So I have that. I have my toaster oven. I have all my kitchen stuff right here. This is all decor, curtains, um, bathroom organizer. That's some more decor, curtains bathroom stuff. Um, there's a baby walker with a little baby in it. <laughs> I have my office chair. That's Nina's reborn back there. Pack and play, a bunch of like bedroom stuff and living room stuff in the pack and play under the dining room table. 
Here's the dining room table chairs. I have some rugs. This is for my Poshmark, the mannequin, in case you were wondering. Everyone always thought it was so weird when they came in and saw a mannequin. They're like, what are you doing with this? But it's for like, um, when I take pictures of the clothing, put it on here. I have this right here. And then I have another organizer right there. Some more decor. Um, a little cute carpet over there. Some more baby stuff, pack and play stuff. Baby bath from the other house that Isaac actually used. This one was on like clearance, so I bought the pink one. I have my lighting right here for videos. Um, there's a high chair back there. I thought it was a bouncer, like a bouncy seat, but it's the high chair. And there's like the top part to it. Um, what else? Right here is my cable and internet Wi-Fi box. And we have like a bunch of decor. So that's pretty much the gist of it. It's like my whole entire apartment. So I hear someone coming. This is our load right now. We're gonna go load up the car. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys in a minute. I don't think I showed you guys what was on this load, but a bunch of toys and I have a microwave down there and the elevator open. And a bunch of random stuff in the very bottom that I have to sort through, like old mail and stuff. And I think there's trash too that I have to throw away. Tomorrow morning is trash day. So last round, <laughs> it's all closed up. We're gonna head out of here. Three last things, I, I feel accomplished. Well, there's other people up here. They're like in the aisle over from us. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're all loaded up. This is the front. I do have some in the back seat too. The donations and this is what it's looking like. Got a lot done. Okay, on to Subway and the grocery store. Okay, we're getting Nina's watermelon and my pickles. Are you excited? Yum. I know, you've been craving it. I'm yeah. so excited too. I love pickles. Pickles, all the yummy pickles. Watermelons on the other side. Those are peppers. I don't want peppers, I want pickles. Is this pickles? Huh? No, those are peppers. Uh. I'm just gonna get some dill spears. Yummy, yummy. Not Polish dill though. I've never had Polish dill. So let's go over here to the coaster dill. Here we go. All right, let's go get your watermelon. There's your watermelon. Yay. Oh, look what someone did. Oh my. So do you want like those kind or do you want these kind? Like the chunks? Or the spears. You want those ones? Apple. I know. Okay, so she ended up getting this one because it looked the best, right? Yeah, it Those ones best. look kind of like smushy. Yeah. Okay, so she got her watermelon. I got my pickles. And now we're gonna go to Subway. Everyone's looking at me like, why is she filming in the grocery store? <laughs> okay, let's go to self-checkout. Miss Nina was craving Sour Patch, so go ahead and grab yes. the Sour Patch. I got Sour Patch. I ate the Sour Patch when I was watching the Barbie movie. So do you want the watermelon? Mm -hmm. Not the regular? No, I want this one. Okay, so watermelon and watermelon. Good choices. Into slot. Would you like to make a donation? $8.99. Options on the pin pad. Um, I guess we'll do credit. $8.99 was the total for our three little things. Thank you for shopping at Giant Eagle. Yummy Subway. I'm excited. How's your Sour Patch taste? It tastes like watermelon, kind of, and it tastes like Sour Patch. Does it? Mm-hmm. Hello. pizza. I know, it does. And then, can I just have... Okay, are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy too. Okay, so that wraps up our girls' day. Did you have fun even though you were sick? Yeah. Girls' day with mom? Yeah. So we are headed home now. We're going to check Nina's temperature and see how she's feeling. How are you feeling? Like good. You're feeling a little better? Yeah. So I said we'll see how she's feeling. 
we'll see what her temperature says and if she has a fever obviously give her medicine she's going to follow the doctor's orders get some rest and hopefully she can go back to school tomorrow because like i said she does not like missing school she was very sad that she had to miss friday and saturday of last week oh my gosh she was very upset that she had to miss thursday and friday of last week she really wanted to go but was obviously too sick to go so she couldn't so yeah we're almost home now she's gonna go home and rest and i really wanted to buy a covid test at the grocery store just to see if it is covid but they don't even do that like at the doctors or the hospitals now like i said before they didn't even flu or covid test my three and four year olds when I took them into the doctors. Like it's not even a, it's not as big of a deal as it used to be. Like if it is COVID, there's nothing you can do about it. There's no medication for it. Just like the flu, there's nothing you can do unless you want to take like, what is, like they give you a medication in the very beginning. I forget what it's called because I got this mom brain going on. But I know what I'm trying to say. You guys probably know too. Like if you catch the symptoms within the first, I think it's 48 hours, they'll give you a medication for the flu that will help reduce the symptoms, but it won't take the flu away. And just like with COVID, you can only maintain the symptoms. There's nothing you can do if it's COVID. But I was just curious to ask if that's what my kids are getting. I would think that if it was COVID, the whole family would have it because that's how it's always been for us. Every single time we've had it, same with the flu, and we've had them both a couple of times. So we are home now. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe and I hope to see you all on my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.